My name is Mr. Steve. I'm a storyteller. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's me, Mr. Steve, and it's time for another story time. And today, we are once again using my daughter's Amazon free time tablet. We got this for two Christmases ago, I think, and it comes with a bunch of really great books for free, including today's book, Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type, a classic book. Get ready for a lot of light and dark changes. So, oh, it's so dark in this house. Where did you guys go? There you go. This book was so popular when it came out that they wrote I don't know, three bajillion sequels, none of which are as good as this classic original one by Doreen Cronin, Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. Let's get to reading, okay? Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears Click Clack Moo, Click Clack Moo, Clickety Clack Moo. That's what he hears all day. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. But still, he heard it. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, a moo. Then, he couldn't believe his eyes. What's that on the barn door? It's a note. Let's read it. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Ooh, they've got demands. Maybe it's the fact that the cows have realized that they control the means of production. And now they're asking for fairness and equality. Everyone's gonna get... Frog, daddy, по левому флангу! It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they want an electric blankets? I need to do a farmer voice. No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. Is that a good? No way! I guess he's an old guy, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets! So the cows went on strike. Somewhere out there, Bernie Sanders is crying a single tear of joy. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Maybe I should have lowered the computer before I started this, but uh, nope, that's Wi-Fi. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack. Moo, clickety-clack, moo. That's right, moo. There you go. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold, too. They like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Can you do this with your eyebrows? <laughs> You feel the electricity. Yeah. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed. No milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. You know what? The more I do that voice, the more I like my Farmer Brown voice. Oh, fiddle faddle. This is just a load of hog swallop. I, I, it's, it's starting to grow on me. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. And what did he hear? Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. That's what he heard. Cows the type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? It, for a second, 
I, I, I heard Lin-Manuel Miranda. Cows that type, hands on strike. We got to get the declaration just right. Alexander Hamilton, who? Anyway, sorry. Cows that type, hands on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? Woo, my sciatica. How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Oh, wait. Furious. But he wasn't fast. He was just furious. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Dude, you should be nicer to your employees. I think that pretty much sums it up. Now, here comes Duck. Now, see, Duck is a neutral party. Duck is Sweden. So he brought the ultimatum to the cows. The cows held an emergency meeting. An emergency cow meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop. But none of them could understand moo, which is, of course, the language of the cows. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door, and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. This is my impression of every hacker in a TV show. Oh, I gotta get past the firewall. Encryption. I'm in. Farmer Brown decided that this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. And check them out. Now they're all warm. See, the cows are all warm in their electric blankets. And the chickens, the hens, are all warm in their electric blankets. They're just vibing. <laughs> the next morning, Farmer Brown got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We would like a diving board. Maybe a water slide, too. Maybe a lazy river. Ooh. Sincerely, the ducks. And what did Farmer Brown hear? That's right. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack. Quack. Got any grapes? Looks like they got the diving board. Anyway, that's it for story time today. Hooray! Did you guys like that story? I like it when we do tablet stories. <laughs> what? I'm not running out of books. You are. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that story. What stories would you like me to read? You can't put it in the comments because YouTube comments are shut down for kids' channels. You, uh, But I am on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, so you can find me there. Links for all of those are in the description down below. Let me know what uh, stories you'd like me to read. If you have any, uh, uh, what's the word? Requests. I'm right here. All right? I'm not going anywhere. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed today's story. Hope you guys are doing well. Remember, Mr. Steve cares about you. We'll see you later, guys. Bye! I don't know how to work this into a story time, but I, I want to create a series about the lost city of Alanis. And everyone in the lost city of Alanis is Alanis Morissette. I think that'd be funny. Isn't it ironic? It's like rain on your wedding day.